How will Casper be impacted by Ethereum ETF approvals? Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Chris and today we're about to do our daily update on Casper, what happened in the last 24 hours. Plus we're gonna speak for Ethereum ETFs because approvals are coming and to remind you, I have told you that uh, with the first Ethereum ETF approvals, we will begin the bull run, okay? Bull run will begin and it seems that it's happening exactly as I have told you the last couple months. Uh, yeah, I've been saying that uh, for uh, weeks, for months, that with the first Ethereum ETF approvals, bull run will begin. And it seems that we are getting there, okay? Obviously, we don't know. We can have actually a negative outcome where I don't believe, okay? Even if I believe that Ethereum is a security and I call it scam Ethereum, I believe for some reason Ethereum will have approvals from the SEC and this is how we're gonna see the biggest bull run of history. Anyway, we will speak for all of that stuff on this video. Plus, I will tell you how will Casper be impacted from Ethereum ETF approvals. And uh, yeah, so sit back, relax, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. And without losing more time, guys, let's go straight into the Casper chart. Guys, as you see, we are standing, the time that we are speaking at 13.15 cents, 4.7% up. Uh, the last 24 hours, 3.1 billion market cap. You see how beautifully um, it seems that we are playing here an upturn movement from the chart, from an out zoom perspective. It seems that we broke a downturn movement. We will see that better basically uh, from a TA side. I would like to tell you that the hash rate is actually the same as yesterday, 275 petahash per second, but it seems the current hash rate at 263 petas per second is warming up for another big spike to reach another 88 and for those who don't know caspa constantly hits new 88 from a hash rate perspective and also for those who don't know uh when you see that big adoption from a mining perspective uh price follows okay so fasten your seat belts i think uh the first wave of caspa just began okay Anyway, we'll see that in a few. Uh, from a Rust migration, some update, guys. You see, uh, we dropped a little bit the percentage uh, yesterday, the May, the 20th of May. The nodes that mined by Rust uh, actually reported at 58.93%. We dropped from 61.24. But okay, you see that uh, suddenly uh, Rust can spike a lot. Okay, like in just a couple of days. So. Rust is here and we will see the final implementation of Rustlang and yeah, the migration basically from Growlang to Rustlang very, very soon. So fasten your seat belts because with one block per second on Rust, uh, that's gonna be the green light for the 10 blocks per second. And yeah, we're gonna destroy every single competition with that way. So yeah, that's actually the data report from the Rust migration too. And guys, let's go uh, to the TA side because you see here how beautifully is playing out um, the Casper price with the scenarios that I explained to you yesterday and the previous days and the previous weeks. We had this fall with pattern, this downturn resistance. This fall with pattern is a bullish pattern, broke and also we broke the 200 daily moving average, and I told you that if we're gonna break uh, the fall wedge pattern plus the 200 daily moving average with a confirmation above 13 cents, okay, the daily candle, that's gonna be a very bullish sign for uh, Caspa, and we're gonna start probably an upturn movement, and it seems here that Caspa is getting there, okay? Like the highest point that we reached today, it was 13.6 cents. And the next big resistance that Caspa has to surpass is the 14.5 cents. I believe, guys, we're gonna be there, okay? I give more odds uh, that we will be there. So, yeah, guys, that, that's really bullish, okay? That's really bullish because if Ethereum uh, ETFs will be approved very soon in the upcoming days, uh, weeks, whatever, Guys, we are about to have massive moonshot from Ethereum. Altcoin season will begin. Bitcoin will pump a lot. And also, we have very bullish news from a Bitcoin side. We will see that uh, now. Uh, you see here also Ethereum how exploded the last uh, 48 hours, like 
from $3,000 exploded to $3,800 because there is massive FOMO around Ethereum. Uh, and the FOMO is that Ethereum is about to be approved uh, for Ethereum ETFs. And yeah, that's a very big sign. But let's focus a little bit on Bitcoin because Bitcoin now uh, plays the biggest role for us. Uh, we don't care about the scam Ethereum that much. We all care about the Ethereum ETF approvals because that's gonna begin um, a massive bull cycle. And I believe, guys, even if I don't like that, if I, even if I don't like Ethereum, I have to uh, admit that if we will see the Ethereum ETF approvals eventually, we will go into the biggest bull run. Uh, that we can reach. Okay, like, for example, without Ethereum ETF approvals, maybe we will go 10 trillion, 12 trillion, but with Ethereum ETF approvals, we can touch even higher. We can touch even, uh, yeah, 15 trillion total market cap as a peak of the cycle. And so in um, reality, even if I don't like Ethereum, I want to see Ethereum ETF approvals, but also I won't be shocked if I won't see that. So, uh, let's focus on Bitcoin because Bitcoin, guys, is uh, remaining in a very bullish position. Bitcoin had also a follow wedge pattern that broke. I explained it to you uh, as well that this is bullish and we will continue into a higher position. And one reason that I can justify this Bitcoin pump is because U.S. institutions are buying non-stop with massive amounts. Okay, you see here, as I told you yesterday, um, on 20th of May, we will definitely have above 200 million inflow because we had this massive green candle and that's uh, actually something that creates massive supply shock. Okay, look how heavy these institutions are buying. BlackRock, 66 million, Fidelity, 64 million, uh, ARK Investment, 68 million, and also, we finally um, watch uh, Grayscale to have an end to this massive outflow, to, ma to this massive selling pressure from a Bitcoin side. Okay, their customers, due to the reason that the fees on their ETFs were high, they were selling and they were buying probably uh, from BlackRock. So uh, Grayscale for that specific reason had massive outflow and they were selling massive amounts of Bitcoins because their customers uh, were selling their uh, Bitcoin ETF, sir. So now it seems that this has come to the end and they started back the accumulation, 9.3 million. And yeah, as I told you, Grayscale jumped into the basket of, uh, with the rest, um, U.S. institutions and they're accumulating together, okay, 237 million for another day. The last four days, five days, if I don't make any mistake, uh, we had above 200 million inflow guys from the U.S. ETFs and that's insanely bullish. Uh, I would like also to tell you that El Salvador crosses 400 million in Bitcoin holdings and they are now 80 million in profit. This is actually uh, a real president, okay? A president that cares about their people. Uh, he's constantly buying uh, Bitcoin for his country, okay? And El Salvador probably is gonna be the Dubai of North and South America in the upcoming years, okay? Anyway, let's focus now into uh, a little bit on Ethereum ETFs. Uh, I would like also to tell you that Grayscale uh, is filing I mean, it trust uh, for Ethereum. So uh, yeah, Grayscale is going for Ethereum as well. But I would like to focus a little bit on the bullish things uh, and the reason that why Ethereum pumped a lot. Guys, you see that uh, first of all, uh, SEC asks exchanges to update the 19B for filings on an accelerated basis for spot Ethereum ETFs. Uh, that's really bullish, accelerated basis. Okay, and also would like you to see the deadlines for those who don't know. Uh, yeah, Vanek, Arc, and Hasdex, Nasdaq have actually a uh, final deadline for Ethereum ETF answer from the SEC, I mean, on May. Okay, um, yeah, in two days, Vanek, in uh, three days, Arc Investment, and 
13th of May, Hasdex, uh, Nasdaq. Okay, uh, we will get the answer. And but guys, if we will see the first Ethereum ETF approvals, even from those ETFs, the rest will follow. Okay, it's gonna be um, yeah obvious. But uh, this is not only the bullish things that Ethereum ETFs are coming, and SEC actually asked to update uh, the 90B for. Uh, filings. I would like to tell you that this Bloomberg analyst raises spot Ethereum ETF approvals odds to 70%. And guys, actually, the same analyst gave in the past 25%. And now he gi he's giving 75 Actually, he increased uh, the odds a lot. Okay, 50% up. That's a bullish sign. And guys, here, I would like to tell you that Ethereum ETFs to be lanced uh, will require for SEC to approve two parts. The first part is the 19B4S, and the second is actually the S1. So here, an ETF expert actually believes that obviously SEC must approve both 19B4, uh, that is exchange rule changes, and also the S1, that is the re registration statement for the ETFs to launch. But he believes that the SEC will approve the 90 before and then will slow down the S1. So we will see. Okay, that's actually uh, a hypothetical scenario. No one knows for sure uh, how SEC will move. We can actually have the Ethereum ETFs uh, in the upcoming days, and that's going to drive a big spike on... Uh, the world crypto market, but we can even have guys uh, a rejection. No one knows. Okay, I won't be shocked if I see rejection on Ethereum ETFs, and this is the point uh, mostly around how Casper will be impacted by that kind of um, negative outcome from the SEC. Uh, guys, I would like to tell you that Casper won't be impacted in the mid long run. Okay, even if Ethereum won't be approved for Ethereum ETFs. Guys, Caspa is one of a kind, it's a way different thing, it's a commodity. Uh, Ethereum for me is a security, okay? I don't know if for specific reasons, dirty things behind the scenes, they're gonna put Ethereum and they're gonna approve it as a commodity. I don't believe that Ethereum is a commodity, I believe it's a security. Caspa is a commodity. So Caspa in the mid long run won't be impacted. In the short term, obviously the market can um, yeah, damn a little bit for the short period of time frame, but Bitcoin doesn't give an F. Okay, they are buying non-stop. The big institutions are buying. Asia came into the game. All of these ETFs are buying constantly, and that's uh, something that will create supply shock. Okay, banks print infinity money, institutions acquire because they have power, all of that money and their customers are buying with the fake money, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin serve, institutions with that money buying real Bitcoin. So with that way, guys, you understand that uh, Bitcoins are at this point 15, 16 million if you actually uh, remove the Bitcoins that lost. And this is how we create supply stock because the supply is finity and not infinity. So uh, this is how Bitcoin will spike into crazy price, but we need to be, uh, we need to admit that with Ethereum ETF approvals, even more money gonna come into the space and we're gonna touch even bigger total crypto market cap. So yes, guys, that's a, a fact. Um, but as I told you, Caspa mean long run won't be impacted and Caspa with smart contracts and uh, Kira C20, I believe in the distant future we'll flip Ethereum and also Caspa ETFs will come and all of that stuff. Because Caspa is a commodity, it's faster, cheaper, secure, and decentralized, okay? Trilemma solver. And that's what I would like to tell you guys. And for the people who ask me, Chris, where you store your Caspa? Guys, I use Tajem Wallet, self-custody yourself. It's a must, it's not an option. So if you click here the link, it's gonna put you in that page. I, I recommend you three card set. Use the promo code CryptoCris. You will find the code here, okay? And you will grab 10% discount. Okay, three card set, CryptoCris, get Tadzem, and you will sleep well at night, okay? It's a must. I personally use Tadzem. You can use another cold storage, but it's highly recommended because I use it and uh, I trust them, okay? 
And for the people who ask me, Chris, where you buy your Caspa, I buy from Maxim Bybit, go through my links, sign up, deposit, and you're going to grab some extra bonus to grab some extra Caspa. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate you for every like and every comment. I will see you all in my next video. I do my next video. Your boy, Chris, out. Bye.